This playthrough is rated E10+. Hey little, hey little creature, have you ever thought to play like one of the most, like, I don't know, boring games you've ever played before, but you, you, you just can't not finish it because of some weird obligation? Greetings and salutations, viewers of all of my here with Let's Finish This with Balin Wonderworld, the plat uh, like uh, action platformer cosplay game made by um, Yu Tanaka, or I think his name is, or Yuji Tanaka or something. The guy who worked on like Knights and some of the Sonic games. And you can kind of see it as you play the game. The the at least the character designs, especially with the later bits of the series, like with the uh, Sonic Boom and stuff like that. Uh, or even Knights had kind of similar design with those, you know, lanky bodies with, like, huge hands and, and feet and stuff like that. Anyway, we played the game. We've saved 11 out of 12 uh, people from their despair, I guess. I'm not sure. We've collected costumes and collected these Tims, I guess, and uh, creatures and stuff like that. Now, before we start doing the final levels and finishing the game, and no, I'm... Well... There is a secret ending to this game, and I don't know if I ever want to get it, because you have to collect all the statues, and it's really annoying to, to do it. Um, and I'm definitely not uh, not trophy finishing this, that's for sure. I don't care enough about this game to do it. And Yeah, I thought I'd cl I, I thought if I wasn't um, if I wasn't recording that I'd probably calm down about this game after a while, because when I did my first impressions, I was trying to be uh, have a better outlook, but I was just getting, like I don't know, bored and annoyed with this game, and uh, didn't really change after playing it. I had to stop multiple times because I was like, I'm just not invested in this, so hopefully I won't be crapping on this game too much for people who really maybe like this game or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to get the Balin outfit in this game. Um, one thing you have to do in this game is you can feed these Tims like from these uh, flowers, which you can tell on the colored gems over there. To get the to get the best outfit in the game, at least the easiest for collecting like Balin statues to 100% the game, you need to feed uh, the uh, these Tims until they get three badges on their chest. Badges? We don't need no stinking badges! Uh, uh, the badges are for red, blue, and purple, as you can see on the top there. You need to grow one Tim that's like huge like this guy and get the three badges. You just basically feed them until you see the badge appear. It's harder to see on the smaller guys. I don't know if I have one available that has some badges on them just to show it off. Um, gotta be one around here somewhere. Um, what you're supposed to do, though, is you get a, a badge on one of these smaller guys, which that guy's got a badge on, but you need three of them. Oh, no, this guy would be a good example. You throw him into the Big Tim, whichever, wherever he went. Um, well, what they'll do is the Tim, the Big Tim will grow small and crack an egg open. And the egg you want to have open has to have a crown like this one uh, on it, um, which uh, to do that, you need this bird thing to get... Um, open which you need red gems the easiest way to grind red gems is going to be in a level i'll show you here in a second um but uh as soon as it's open you do all that you get the crown tim when it's first born make sure to feed it go into level exit and then it's going to ask you for well it's not showing it now because i have it oh there it is uh, i need to throw this guy into the bird statue and this will unlock the balin statue the problem with the whole tims hatching from eggs and stuff like that it's random so even if you do what i do you might not get it so what I would do is just, just make sure to close the game when you've gotten the Tim, the big Tim and the little Tims with the badges. Make sure to close the game and save it and then restart and do it. And that way, if, if it doesn't work, you just close the game again and restart the game. So anyway, let's throw this guy into it. My God. It's hideous. Anyway, he's gonna fly us to the top of the uh, the Tim Sanctuary or whatever you want to call this to uh, get that final outfit. If uh, in this game, if you die while wearing a certain outfit, you lose the outfit. You have to go grind it again. So if you want to get back up here, you don't have to do the whole get a crown Tim. All you have to do is feed him rainbow uh, rainbow gems. So at least that's good. But anyway, yep, the final. Well, I don't have all the statue uh, costumes in the game, but this is technically the final costume in the game is the the Balin statue. Balin's costume is now available to try on in the dressing room. What, we don't actually transform into it on stage here? Eh, okay, that was kind of anticlimactic. Come on, let's get back down. I assume I could probably jump, but, uh... Dude? Dude? Tim? There's some who call me... Tim? But, uh... Yeah, you'd be... S <laughs> You're probably thinking to yourself, if you don't like this game so much, why, why did you put that much effort in to figure out how to get this thing? And, like... I don't know, viewers. I don't know. I really don't know. 
what is that theory where you know you put so much work into something you just can't back out of it so let me show you to get the as for those who care let me show you to get as much rainbow gems as you can um i don't know which does the games have like what patch this is hmm. well i think i'm like patch 1.04 or something like that i believe um at least at the time of this recording and publishing, it'll be about pretty close to it. So they haven't patched it out yet, and I doubt it's something they will. It seems so minute that... Uh, and all this is is a time saver, so it's not like it breaks the game. It just saves you some time. But anyway, if you go to the sixth level in the second area, um, I can show you how to get it. So really, It's actually really quick. I, don't, I forgot how many rainbow gems you actually need. I think the first time you unlock the first phase of the statue, it's like... It's not very many, it's like three or four. And then you need like 20 for the second form. And I think you need 20 again when you want to have the, the Tim fly up to get the Balin statue. So actually, uh, I've, I've actually used the Balin statue on screen, so I actually don't know, or costume on screen, so I actually don't know how it actually works. So I know it, what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to make you fly through the levels so that way you you don't have to worry about platforming. Thank goodness. Uh, I guess he's he must be under special. Uh, outfit. Yep. The oh yeah, and you can get like these like other outfits, and then these are just mini games, and all they give you is just the gems or whatever. So they're kind of pointless. Wow, that's creepy. Yeah, Balin kind of reminds me of like a Dr. Seuss character, but not as endearing. But anyway, Balin, jump, press X to jump up and high, and hold to soar through the sky. All right, well, let's see how this works. Ta-da! The creepy, the creepy guy uh, who follows you all day. Uh, okay, so that's how. Uh, yeah, see, and then I can just go grab Balin statues all over the place. And I think to get the uh, secret ending, you have to get, you have to grab all, you have to uh, unlock all Balin statues in all levels. If I do decide to do it, I might just tack it on to the end of the episode or something like that. Like I said, I'm not really that invested into it. But anyway, um, let's see. Okay, we need to get to the second statue area, which is here or, or a save point or whatever. It's this area. right. This isn't where you start. I just... Um, I had done this level earlier um, just to mess with some stuff. You technically start, like, over there. Anyway, you want to go over here. You're probably going to have, like, an air... Um, air... Uh, air flyer or whatever that costume is if you go over here um this bird well i've well okay so unfortunately since i did this off screen already i haven't reset the level what happens is this thing will keep respawning the red gems over and over and over again until you finish the level um so you could uh, he respawns too so what you do is you go back you collect the gems you go back to the save point um over here and you basically, I guess you're resetting the statue or something like that, or like I said, it's probably more of a glitch. You go over here, step on it, and then when you go back, there'll be two more uh, two more red uh, spots there. Oh, well, here you go. See? They're there now, so. Uh, yeah, and you just keep doing that. You get two over and over and over again. Um, I think you just have to step on it and then look at the location there. And then when you step on it, it adds more, and you can actually keep adding. Two. You don't have to collect them all at once. You can just stack them. Um, let me see if I can show you stacking them. So right now, yeah, there's two there. I, I don't know if you have to see them. You probably could keep stepping on the thing, but I'm not sure about the logistics of it. So now, if we go back over there. So how before was two? If we grab them now, I'll show you. You get four. See, there you go. And they haven't patched it out yet, at least at this time. So that's one way to get uh, all the... Uh, um, enough... Uh, oops, let me... Is it miscellaneous? Yeah, go to all Tim's. Yep. <clears throat> and just keep doing that until you get enough rainbow gems. Like I said, you only need so many, but if you lose the Balin outfit, you'll have to collect all the red things again. And you get that by getting either fallen or dying by, well, technically you don't die in this game. You get knocked out or whatever. But unfortunately, if you get hit by an enemy or whatever, you get knocked out. Um, you have to get hit once, I think. And then Im you immediately lose the costume. Uh, that's one thing here. Well, there's a lot of things I don't like about this game. One thing I don't like is that you have to grind for costumes. So you don't permanently unlock it. You have to grind for them. So anyway, let's do the final level of the game before we unlock the uh, um, final 
area because I've gotten enough Balin statues to get the actual ending of the game, but I have to save everyone, quote unquote, to get the uh, like to get the actual end of the game. I still don't know what really the plot of this game is, other than I guess you were a kid and maybe had some depression issues or felt you're alone. And then all of a sudden, this creepy man child comes up and say, "Hey, come to my world of, of wonder and shows," and and then you go to all these levels and you basically dress up in silly outfits, and I guess you save people from their darkness, even though they live in a different world than you do. But somehow you're affecting them, and when you beat them, you shake hands and they have a dance off, and then you see them getting over their um, thing. So man seen by no one. Is that a TV standing on or? Well, anyway, uh, depending on where you're at, you might start off in your outfit from a, pre from a previous area. Um, technically, I should be like, like, uh, I'll just leave on the bail because it's the best outfit in the game. There is another outfit that's pretty good as well. Um, actually, I'll show you. Um, let me see if I can show you really quick. Uh, before you get Balin, anyway, it's a pretty useful outfit just because of its ability to get you to places that you wouldn't normally do, and you can just kind of skip past certain areas. Um, and a lot of these outfits are, like, the same as other outfits. They're only useful for that level. Like, this dust butterfly thing, it can only fly if it's nighttime, so it's only useful in that area. Isn't the whole point of this game is to have outfits, and then you unlock outfits, and then you go back to old areas using different outfits to unlock secrets, but... I feel like they caught there's a couple of copies that are just kind of pointless or they're for just to be silly like happy horn all this gets you is gems it doesn't get you any like unlockables or anything like that so it's like okay i guess that's cool but and then there's another outfit that does the exact same thing except it's a guitar i, I well i guess if you like guitar over over trumpet or or horns or whatever i guess it's oh this one is kind of funny though if you keep jumping it makes a guitar rift kind of reminds me of was it metalocalypse or whatever <laughs> uh, that's a much more entertaining show. Um, anyway, uh, where is it? Oh, the the frost fairy is pretty pretty useful just because uh, one you can kind of float in in uh, in space, but if you hold down the button, you uh, go up a little bit. So this allows you to get to platforms you wouldn't normally get because there's a upward trend. Obviously, if you run for too long, you'll fall off. Uh, if you start shaking, it means you'll fall off. But anyway, that's the one I use to, like, bypass a lot of stuff in the game. But yeah, see how I can... Oh, man. Although, I, I, I have to be afraid of... Or I have to be careful about not going too far, because I bet there's a mechanic where either resets you or... Oh, there's a... Huh. I didn't know he had a reset option. Maybe I kept... It's because I kept jumping. Um, oh, yeah, and these... These are a like Balin fight... QTEs. These are kind of annoying because if you want to get the Balin statue from them, you have to get you have to get uh, bet or the best score the first time through. You can't mess up once. You can't get like you can't barely miss and get like a grade and get the you know, statue. You no, know, you have to get all of them and you have to go through the inane animation over and over and over again until you get the first time through. So these are really obnoxious to do just because it takes forever to get through the Balins about. Especially later ones, because they started off like short, they did like a, like one or two, like three or four, like things, and then by the end you have to do like seven or eight of them. I swear. Eh. And then you have to, yeah, you have to hit the button. See, I got. You think I hit it, but no, I got a great set of fantastic or whatever. So that means the whole reason to do the rest of this is moot. I mean, you do this to like get like gems or whatever if you do really well, but now I don't care. I just want to fail because I'm like, I just want this to be over. So I'm going to show you what happens if he messes up, just for fun. Yeah, he actually gets beat up and stuff like that. It's it's more entertaining to watch him get the crap beat out of him than anything. Um, if you don't, you can mess up on this, but as long as you don't mess up on the final, like, QTE, you can get a reward for it, but it's not as good if you fail too many times. And yeah, I'll just keep doing this, and you can tell, like, they kind of add in scenes, like, it's not seamless, uh, so it's like... I don't know if you can tell, like, there's a cut in the scene where it goes to, like, it might reuse, like, one of the many animations that they use for this. Okay, I guess you can fail multiple times or whatever, but... Anyway. You can actually fly, just <laughs> skip the whole... I skip going through the door. That's awesome. That's the only reason you want to do this whole Tim's thing, and luckily it didn't take me that long to, uh... Um... Figure this out, and... and um, oh, what's the word? 
Okay, the only problem with not with not going the way the game tells me to is I might not not remember where I'm actually supposed to go. Like which direction. So alright, well, let's fall back down. We were supposed to go through the door, so uh, oh, okay. Let's just collect some of the free Balin statues while we're here. Yeah, I don't know if I really wanna collect all the statues for the for the full ending or something. Just because it's like I really don't care. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I, I feel bad, like, being like that while recording a game. You're like, why are you even recording? I don't know. Uh, there's lasers and stuff like that. So. I probably should be trying to collect some of the outfits so I don't have to do this again, but... Yeah, usually you'd have to be trying to get through the door and everything like that. But not this not this Balin fella. No sirree. Oh, yeah, you have to be careful because he does wear out of... Apparently he has a time limit on his jumping ability or something like that. Oh, I might have to actually go through that door. Oh, nope. Haha. -ha. I assume that... Oh, you can't get over there. Never mind then. Okay. Okay, I'll have to actually open the door somehow. Alright, fine. How do I open you? I might have to actually collect the outfit that is required for this place. Well, let's see. That's an egg. I don't need eggs. Eggs are for Tims and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll have to see. I'll have to find the outfit for this level. Because it probably is not going to let me until I find it. So, alright, fine. I have to actually play the game. It's probably near the entrance, I bet. That's usually where the... Um, try to be careful about not getting too far out for... And not falling and having to, like, redo this whole thing all over again. Those are just gems in there. Okay, I, I must have missed something at the beginning of the level because I skipped it, so. Alright, let's uh. Okay, drop down so I don't get a. Uh, so I don't uh, lose uh, the Tim ability, or the Balin ability. Hmm. Let me uh, let me swap to this outfit just in case. I don't want to lose this outfit. Because, yeah, I'm not seeing any outfits anywhere. They're usually just, like, little, uh... Not triangle, you know, like a little shape that you can clearly tell that it's a uh, outfit, but... I guess because I didn't unlock these, it's not a... I've already got that. I've already got a key. I guess I just had to be in the general area of the door or something like that, but... There we go. Oh, that's freaking me out, man! I don't know, man. I'm not a big fan of transformation stuff, so this stuff's creeping me out. And I guess now that I know that, I have to run over the things, open the doors. Yeah, it's a freaking vacuum cleaner. It's freaking me out, man. Another key. Nope, there's the, another outfit. I want to make sure I don't have to accidentally swap out the Balin outfit. Otherwise, I have to go to another costume spot to do that. The Invisible Man. That looks like Dark Man, actually, from a... Which, I don't think that's age-appropriate for this game. Invisible Man! Making the wearer invisible. Invisible when you feel like it. it wait, what? Um, what knows you while you're invisible? Oh, it switches, so it's like a lot of outfits where after a certain period of time, you just switch to visible for whatever reason, so... I guess I have to defeat these guys or something. Yeah, see, it just randomly does it, so you have no control over it. And you think with such a simplistic... Oops. Well, there goes my outfit. See, the good thing I wasn't in the Balin outfit, otherwise I would have lost it. Now I have to wait till, uh... Uh... I have to wait till it appears again. It takes a, a little while for the um, outfits to re reset themselves. I was, I was about to say, is there some more enemies in here? There we go. Yeah, since I haven't actually played this level, I didn't know what was required to, to beat it, so... No, I just... Okay. Oh, there's the bully thing. Yeah, I guess I could shut it off. Bowling challenge. Now, realistically, what you're supposed to do is, uh, well, I guess bowling is 
if you can curve the ball, which I don't think you can do in thing, you usually want to hit like kind of in between the first and second pin or first and third pin because it'll cause a chain reaction that'll knock the rest of the pins over if you do it right. Um, I don't know if this game has perfect bowling physics or not. I guess we'll find out. And eh, probably should have hit the bowl a little, a little bit more to the right. So. I used to bowl quite a bit when I was younger. Not as good as I used to be, though. I don't have, I don't have very good form, really, when it comes to bowling. And I'm not very good at curving the ball. Why did it do that? Oh, is it because of the uh, shapes on the ground, so it can't roll flat? Now, obviously, the best the best way to game is to get like strikes all the time, because then the score builds up per. If you get a spare, it takes the score from your previous roll and adds it to that new roll. If it's a if it's a spare, it adds the previous two rolls or totals to your roll. So if you get a you know if you get multiple spare uh, strikes, it'll uh, keep adding to those strike scores until you get the total at the end, which I believe is 300. It's the best score you can get in bowling. Oh, and unfortunately, that can happen in life where you get like not quite a 710 split, but it's almost impossible to like knock the rest of the pins when you get like a score like that. So that's usually a, a bowler's bane. Although usually good bowlers will just get strikes all the time anyway. But no. Anyway, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess this is one of those levels where you just can't um, can't just skip it all as much as I'd like to. I assume I just have to step on all the. Uh... Yep. I mean, if I I probably could skip most of this now that I know what I'm looking for, but it's best to just in this case best to follow it because I assume the game will. will Block me at certain points to get so far. So. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, the design for Invisible Man just looks just like Dark Man. The only thing he's missing is his bandaged mask. I wonder if it, I wonder if someone had seen the movie or just was inspired. Actually, it kind of looks like some of the Sonic Boom character designs. Although I've heard the cartoon for it is is is, is entertaining because it, it's a makes fun of itself all the time and fourth wall breaking and stuff like that which is odd for a Sonic cartoon you think they play it pretty straight because that genre seems to be uh, seems to be pointed at towards younger audiences at least from what I've noticed anyway alright it's time to suck these guys up yeah, most enemies in this game are, are more annoying than dangerous. I mean, they're dangerous just because if they hit you once, you lose your outfit. It's annoying. And it's more, well, I, that's why I say annoying. It's annoying to lose your outfit more than dangerous because then you're like, I have to go get it again. Come on, man. You know, that type of thing. And there, if now that I've gotten another one, now that I have a, a, a added to my collection. Now I have just more than one, so... Well, I'm, just gonna this. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. I, I hate doing those. It's just a waste of time. Even though you need to do it 100% of the game. Ugh. <laughs> Man, maybe this will be my first, like, let's end this episode where I'm just, like, super egregious towards the uh, the game itself. Oh, see, now I lost my outfit. See how annoying that is? How fun. Now, I know the idea was to turn invisible and, and attack them so they don't shoot me, but... Yeah. yeah, now I'm just like, I have to go find the outfit again. <laughs> yeah, after playing, after doing the first impressions video, I was like, I can't be the only one who doesn't see this game as very good, or at least up mediocre at best, and most of the reviews pretty much. I, I don't like being that like, oh, I'm just like everyone else, like, let, form your own opinion, play the game, and which I did. I, I saw, like, the general consensus of the game. I was like, you know what, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll enjoy the game. Maybe there's something ironic about it, or, you know, maybe you just have to be in a certain mindset. Because this game seems to be designed for younger audiences, or even though it's rated easy and plus, um, it seems to be designed for those who are more, like, this is your easy man's platformer, that type of thing. We're supposed to be like, oh, get used to the game genre, but, I don't know, it's almost so easy that's... And it tries to do like multiple genres at once. Like it tries platforming, then it tries to do puzzle solving, then it tries to do collectathon, sort of. 
and then it tries to do um, the QTE like kind of like serious story there with the whole everyone's darkness, but it's like I don't know. I feel like it almost the story almost falls flat if that makes sense. Like even with what they're trying to do, like oh yeah, I gotta be really careful that I don't have Bailey get hit so I lose his outfit. Otherwise, I'll have to grind for um, red stones or the rainbow stones again. Which didn't actually take me that long, but. Not better now. Right, fair enough. Because <laughs> when he starts shaking, you're like, uh oh. oh that's probably how you're supposed to get up there without the bailing outfit. Alright. And. That'd be up, there's the end of the. Oh, what's that? I might as well collect it since. The fixer upper. That's kind of like uh, something from like um, like Legend of Zelda or something like that. Oh, is that how you fix? Okay, that's how you fix broken objects. I've seen these over the course of the game. So, yeah, you have to pretty much almost get to the end of the game to yeah, and then you and that's how you get to that Balance statue or one of the reasons. So, okay. But yeah, if you want to get all the Balance statues, you pretty much have to like get to almost the end of the game. Um, and collect all the outfits once or whatever. And yeah, the, the objective of each mission is to get to these uh, things right here. It doesn't really matter what order you do the level in, either one or two. It'll be the same result. No matter which area you go in first, it'll unlock this heart. And then the second one, you'll put the heart inside like a, a lock or something like that, which I know is supposed to be symbolic. But uh, I guess unlocking their heart or unlocking their darkness or something like that. But yeah, th this game tries to do almost too many genres to like be good at it or something like that, you know? Like, it's an okay platformer. It's not much of a collectathon because some of the collectibles are, are not really fun to get. And that Balin bout thing, it's just... Like I said, it's it's basically the same thing over over again. And you're probably thinking, well, you play games that have grind and that have repetitive action. What's different about that? I don't know. Maybe it's because of how long it takes or, or something. It's... I mean... Oh, there's the yeah, there's the big tent where you have to feed them the uh, um, red jewels to get up. I don't know. It's just, uh, and I'm not, I'm not, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't actually read the reviews of it. I just saw like the Metacritic score and just saw that it was like a, at the time of this recording, it's like a 44 out of out of 100 or whatever, which is not good. But uh, in most videos I saw like briefly of of the game, most of them were like. I had to do this so you. I had to. I hundred percent of the game so you didn't have to. That type of thing. So you can tell that a lot of, at least when it comes to reviewers, I'm not not very pleased with this game. Now I don't know how the average player is, and I like to think of myself as an average player because I'm not a review. I mean, okay, I've done these like videos where I talk about the beginning and end of it, but I'm trying to talk to it as if a person who, I'm not in the know. You know, I play it as in what do I like to play and do I enjoy this while I play it. There are a few games I've I've. Actually, I'm trying to think if there's any, when I first started these videos, if there was any that straight up, like, said, I don't like. Well, there's one I played, and I played some, uh, some, I had so many episodes based on which I don't even know why I did that. I should have just bum rushed the rest of the game. Um, this is probably one of the few games in a long time that I was just like, can can we just finish this? Because I, I, I knew I was going to at least finish the game, because I, I, I don't like, ha I don't like, like, starting something and not trying to. It's not so bad that I just I can't stand it, that type of thing. It's just, uh... It's just obnoxious, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And you know, we got these statues that, like, do stuff. The guy's looking at you all creepy. Yeah, every time you go through a level, whoever, like, dream or whatever you're going into, they'll be, like, um... Watching you and staring at you while you're, I guess, trying to save them or something. I don't know. I guess I have to beat these guys, too. Uh, get through this level. The objective... Oh, whoops. Okay, good. I jumped before that. got shocked. Um, most of these levels, don't, you don't have to do that. Usually, you just have to play the game and go through the area. But every once in a while, you have to do an objective like this. Yep. Oh, electricity. Better kind of jump on him. No, oh, I only had to beat the guy in the middle. There was another guy around there, but I guess it's only the guys in the center. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's really It really is hard to explain, like, why I just don't... Like a, like this game, and like I said, they're the, well. The music's fine for the most part. Um, although they do repeat a lot of songs like later on, so I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I mean, the game is also colorful. It's not like it's it's bad looking. 
I don't know if it's the best use of color design or anything like that, but um, although I'm not sure if I'm I'm a big fan of the model types, if that makes sense. You know, the the big the lanky appendages and uh, and big hands. It's almost too goofy, and, and yeah, I get that this. Well, it's like the characters are, are designed are goofy, yet they want to have like serious moments, like where the characters are like possibly suffering from either depression or or sadness. You know, and it's like, well, it's kind of conflicting uh, stories there. I I, I think. But... Oh no! I didn't mean to click on him. No! I don't want to do this. Well, I'll try to see if I can get a fantastic on it. Now the thing is, this the the quick time it really isn't that bad. Like in terms of actually pressing it, thing is, I'm just really bad at like um, rhythm and stuff like that. Um, that's all, because like the time you're supposed to hit it, I I'd be either hit like right before I'm supposed to or right after I do it. So that's why I keep getting greats and not ex excellence half the time. Oopsie, I pressed it too soon. You're supposed to hit it as soon as it lines up with him if it does that, and then if it has multiple. Balins appear or whatever. You're supposed to like mash the button or whatever. Yeah, now I don't care. Now that I've gotten a great, there's no point in doing this because, and you can't you can't quit the mini game. Like there's no, I'm pressing all the buttons. You can't quit it. So you have to watch the rest of this animation. I mean, or even so, if you're trying to complete this and you're like you mess up that one time, you're like, oh, I have to do the whole thing over again. Well, too bad. You have to watch the whole thing until you mess up like three times in a row or something like that. And you can't immediately redo it. You have to. Reset the level and then go find the hat again and then redo it and then hopefully you got it right that time. If not, well, too bad. You're gonna have to redo the level again. And I'm like, ugh. Uh, and you think, well, there's been other games in old school like Sonic and those like um, Chaos Emerald rooms, you know, if we're trying to add Sonic to the mix. And I don't know, there's just a bit more, like with those, there is some um, challenge when it comes to like gameplay. And stuff like that, but with this, it's just like press a button here, and I'm like, oh, I didn't press the button right. Well, let's do it again. All right, I'm waiting to come back later. Oh man, I do feel, I do really feel bad about like criticizing this game so badly because it's like I don't even think it deserves that. Or I don't, it deserves criticism, but I don't think it deserves the harshness that I'm giving. I'm probably not even be that harsh in the grand scheme of things. I'm just. I'm just telling you how I feel about it, the game when I'm while playing it, you know. Um, I assume we just have to drop down. Yeah, I don't. Now that I've done the things with the Tims, the only reason I don't want to collect more is if I want to try and get. I think there's like a, a trophy for getting like a. I think 50 Tims. Which I guess Tims can die or disappear, because I've, I've been to level and then. Um, and I'll come back and there'll be like less Tims there. I'm like. Wait, did they, they die or something? I didn't think they could die, or they disappear, or and that's not cool. Like you're trying to grind for like Tim's, and then well, anyway, I know it's just busybody work, I guess. I don't know. I know there's the main emo kid villain of the game, the Edgelord himself. I don't even know what his. I guess is he supposed to represent darkness or depression or because he's always fighting against Balin every time with it during their. Was it? Um, no, he's electric. I, can't do I had to wait till he stops being electric. Oh, and of course we got like, uh, uh, where is? I don't want to lose. I don't want to be bailing. Well, luckily I've got a few keys. Um, and you're probably thinking, oh man, there's a lot of stuff in there. Can you handle it? I'm like, man, it's not really that bad. Just had to avoid the ridiculously slow dipping mechanism. I mean, if I had a, a the, the thing is, I it's because just because of the suits I have. If I brought out one of my costume suits, like the ones that actually have an attack power or a shooting mechanic, I could easily beat this in like five seconds. You know that type of thing. Oh, did I lose my outfit at the same time? Oh no, I turned invisible. There was actually one time where I lost my outfit. I I got hit. I fell, I swapped a different outfit before I suffered fall damage, so I lost two outfits like back to back because of the, the me uh, game mechanic and it, it really it really skewed me off when that happened. I was like, I was kind of annoyed. Super annoyed when that happened. 
But there it is, and let's just fly towards. Hopefully, you don't. Uh... I'm surprised there's a, like a, a wear down time for Balin. Do you think the whole point of getting this reward is that it's infinite fly, so it's just kind of like more fun mode? You know, you're like, oh, you've figured out the game enough to get the final like outfit. All right, here you go, and you're like, oh yeah, and here this happens no matter which level is, whichever level you play second, you put the heart in. And walk in, then you unlock the boss. And then after you beat the game, you can replay any level you want. You can also teleport back to the main area at any of the costume checkpoints. And you can fight the boss whenever you want. Because there are Balin statues that you unlock by fighting the boss. And there's you can get three per boss. And it's based off um, how you beat the boss. And also the guy's a garbage collector in London, I guess? Well, the language doesn't look British, so it looks like maybe it's in Germany or something like that. Well, no, the buses are British, though. So I guess he's supposed to be British. Oh, uh, people keep littering. Because people don't care. Which is true. Most people, if it's not their trash, they don't care. Oh, he sees himself as invisible no matter all the work he does. I mean, people are a little bit better at trying to recycle these days. or not just throw trash around, but still... I don't know. It's def it's definitely a something we have to ingrain into people. You can't just like expect them to just do it. Because if you let people do it, they'll just throw it away and let someone else clean it up. You know, if it's not their problem, you know. What's up with those green dreads anyway? You don't have the face for that, Bailey. Or main character. I'm gonna yeah, not use the Balin outfit for this because all Balin does is fly, so it's, he's not good as a boss fighter. Um, but yeah, you have to beat the boss in three different ways to get the um, all the Balin statues. Usually it's based off the outfits in that level um, that you have to use um, to get the... There's one where you just straight up attack him. Um, then there's one where if you have to either... Oops. Let me grab the... Oh, I don't have... Oh, right, I don't have any keys. Yeah, grab a key. I mean, I don't care if I lose Fixer Upper. It's... Uh, um, Balin that I'm afraid to lose. I wonder if I was supposed to have him hit this, uh, hit this target or something. Maybe. Usually most of the bosses are pretty easy to figure out. Oh, I bet, I bet when he drops those bombs, I'm probably supposed to use the, um, um, actually, I probably should swap out Balin. Um, because I can just get in another level. Yeah, I bet I'm supposed to use the backing. Oh, I didn't grab a key. Of course I didn't. Um, but I bet with the bombs, I'm supposed to suck those up and then... Uh-oh, uh-oh! Uh -oh. Well, there's my invisible outfit. Grab a... Uh-oh! <laughs> I don't know how I hurt him, but okay. I wasn't even trying to do that. I was trying to, like, get the vacuum dude. But yeah, that's one way to do it. And then if you figure out the other two ways to hit him, you can uh, uh, get the three Balin statues from it. So I guess that's interesting. I like the designs. Most of the boss monster designs are cool, but I, it's because of how easy it is that you don't get enough time to uh, really... Um, can't really... I was trying to think. You can hit the ball, but I don't have anything to hit, jump or hit him with, so... Maybe I'm supposed to have him, like... Is he cracking? Maybe I'm supposed to have him, like, jump on this or something like that. Or have the hands hit that or something. Let me see if, uh... You can actually get away from, uh... Uh, taking damage if you, uh... Um... Oh, no, I wasn't close enough. Maybe I was supposed to hold on to that bomb for another another time or something like that. And then he's just sucking, sucking up the uh, things. Yeah, I wonder if I'm supposed, he's supposed to hit the... Uh, whoops. Well, that's one way. I'm, oh, come on, man. Let me grab a key. Well, I said this isn't really hard. I'm just kind of... Oh, 
I got hit. Dang it. I'm actually not as being as efficient as I usually am. Usually these bosses I can beat like in like five seconds, you know, that type of thing. We're just like, oh, well, I already beat them, so. Because yeah, like I said, they're not really that hard. I think I'm only hitting him the one time, so I probably only get one statue from this. Because I assume I'm supposed to pick up the bombs and throw them back at him, but uh, maybe I'm just supposed to hold on to him until he's uh, weak enough to us. Because yeah, I assume like you grab it, grab it with the bomb, and throw him back at him, but let's see if that whole being you know, able to break the hand thing works. I guess it must not be it or something. I was hoping if I got him over like one of these broken pillars, that's how it's supposed to beat the hands or whatever. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to hit a bomb into a bomb. Nope. And of course I've lost my outfit multiple times. I guess for being one of the last bosses, not the last boss, but actually you don't have to play him in any specific order, so I don't know. Because um, as soon as you lock those areas, it just gives you like, for example, for this last bit, in the lock 10, 11, 12. Um, so um, you could, I could have done 12 first, and then where's the, where's the where is it? <laughs> Yeah, I only got one statue for this. Oh well. Whatever. Not a big deal. Yeah, I assume you're supposed to... Well, I thought throwing a bomb into a bomb, but that didn't work. Maybe I'm just supposed to hold on to the bomb until he finishes that leg of his uh, journey. But yeah, we're going to get the old man's released with his creepy big hands there. His grabbing hands. Uh, and he's going to come by and, and shake our hands, or hug us, depending on which version he is. Okay, he's going to be a, a handshaker. Some of them will just straight up, like, hold their hands out, like, I'm going to hug you! Yep, and here's the dance scene. I've, I assume the whole game is supposed to be like a Broadway show, or a play, or something like that, or, or a stage show, is the idea. Because of, like, because of the costumes, the different places you go to, and the dance scene at the end. Which is, like, from a really bad DreamWorks movie, or something like that. Although I guess the songs aren't that bad, but DreamWorks for a long time during during like the late '90s, early 2000s had to have a dance sequence at the end of every one of their animated movies. I'm like, why, why? Or they put too many dance scenes or music scenes in the in the movie and they didn't call for it. Looks like there's quite a few outfits I didn't get for at least two of them. Um, whatever those like creatures are, but and then gotta show a cutscene about how he gets over his darkness or whatever. No one's recycling it, except some people don't have a choice because some places don't have a recycling centers or good recycling centers. Because it looks like they're just throwing in the trash and not even recycling the cans, which you can. Oh, and of course it's the kids that do it, not the adults. Kids are perfect. <laughs> I guess they're... Oh, if only all the kids... Well, actually, if all the kids did recycle, that would help. But, uh... Yeah, all they're doing is throwing in the trash. It's not in a recycle bin. So... That's not really helping because all that trash is going to end up doing is going to end up in a landfill somewhere in like Nigeria or something like that and just stack up, you know, which is true, sadly. You should look it up. It's pretty messed up with like how bad we've been handling recycling and stuff. And uh, I I'm not trying to get on a soapbox or anything. It's just, you know, just plain, you know. I assume this is the final area of the game. I wonder if maybe I should have recorded after after doing the 12th episode so that we can just do the final area of the game. Oh, the game even told me that I couldn't get to the next stage of the train or whatever without saving the rest of these people. So, and it looks like the area is pretty full, so I assume it'll open up like the final, final stage of the game. Ooh, the train is it the Polar Express? Yeah, that movie was okay. The big thing about it was the animation of the mocap at the time. It's got it looks a little creepy today just because of the way people move and everything. But it's because it hadn't been 
fully uh, tested and integrated yet, like the mocap and that type of animation design. Yep, the final, final area. Are we gonna are we gonna break open our are we gonna fix our own darkness? I guess is the, what we're gonna do or something. Or we're gonna fight Edge Lord himself. I wonder if there's supposed to be two sides of the same coin, you know, happiness and and dark or lighter darkness or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, oh, we could wait for the third section of the Tim Tower to finish. It's almost done. Go, Tim's. Go. Do it. I kind of wish the Tim's would do this off-screen, so I didn't wouldn't have to be on the main menu to uh, um, wait for him to finish. Get in there, you punk. You're not doing it. Get in there. There's only seven more to go. Just do it. Just do it. I don't know why I care. Just do it. Come on. Yay. Oh, wait. I don't... Dang it. I mean, it looks like it doesn't... I don't know. This is probably an achievement for completely repairing this thing so we can get to the... Because if you saw when we were flying before, you saw that, like, little thing in the sky. It's probably... You're supposed to keep probably doing it until... You get to that point, it probably locks a trophy and maybe something else as well. But really, the Balin statue is the big, the big trophy for this. So, all right, let's uh, encounter the final area of the game, or boss, or whatever, whatever we're doing. Oh, um, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I want Balin somewhere in there as one of the one of the. Uh, statues just so I can fly around the level. I just have to be careful not to let him get hit. Um, maybe we should have an outfit that, like, actually attacks things. Who do I have a ton of? Didn't I have, like, a bunch of the squid girl or something like that? This is my bad outfit just because it floats. They all float down here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That, that shoots a projectile, so that's something. So someone that can fly, someone can projectile, and maybe... Like I said, maybe someone invisible or something like that. Or, although all you have to do for you can be invul the way to get invulnerability in this game is all you have to do is start switching an outfit, and that'll make you invulnerable. So that's a way to avoid like a lot of damage. Is you just keep sw swapping in and out between the two um, uh, outfits. I mean, I guess the Dark Man one would be good just because you turn invisible. The only bad thing is I only got one of him, so uh, I guess we'll see what happens. I guess it's letting me choose because maybe it's the final boss of the game or something. Oh, and apparently there's like a book based off this game or like a mini novel or something like that that you can read. I don't, I didn't, I didn't check it out, so I don't know. But I'm like, I wonder if it's in the vein of Dr. Seuss or something like that. Although I don't know, folks. I think that I find the Cat in the Hat more endearing than the Balin Wonder Wonderland himself or whatever. Oh yeah, there's almost there's like some voice acting in it, but it's more like grunts and like or Balin's English. It's like wonderful, I will beat it or something like. Nike, Billy V, Aoi, people don't have fresh Aoi. Trusting yourself, huh? No, like that wasn't the message. Wait, trusting yourself, but the, the image at the beginning of the game just showed that he seemed to either like being alone or was depressed or something like that. Even though people were hanging out with him and wanted to ha play with him, so it's clearly a personal issue, not people around him. So. Uh oh, more heartless. Yep, you know, the uh, Edgeward himself. I actually know, I, I don't know what his name is. I don't think he ever said his actual name. Not that it matters, I guess. Is it maybe that's supposed to be us? Yeah, see all the kids. If you saw the cutscene, it looked like all the kids were like, "Oh, hey, throw the basketball. I want to play." And he's, and he's like, I, "I'm emo. Brr, I don't want to hang out with kids." Brr. You know, there's a difference between being emo and being a, or antisocial and being a, a introverted. You know, I notice in a lot of these stories that if a person likes to be introverted, they assume that that's a bad thing or something like that, or that like. Oh, clearly everyone wants to hang out with everyone. It's like, that's not the case. Yeah, I'm not a very big fan of those stories where you're required to have, like... Like, you have to have friends. You have to do all this stuff. But I'm like, otherwise you can't live a fulfilling life. I'm like, have you never heard of introverts before? 
Like, they can have friends. Oh, did I get hit or did I stop him? Does he have, like, a three attack form like everyone else does? Or So I guess the final form is this guy. So, all right. Yeah, see, I can just, like, if, even if he hits me, if I just keep swapping outfits, you get a... You get like limited invulnerability, so it's like okay, cool. Yeah, the reason I chose protect all users is just because it'd probably be easier at some points to uh, avoid some of the uh, or be able to actually attack things. You can probably do this without because it gets you to choose your outfit. So it's just it's easier to throw a projectile than it is to 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 jump on things. I feel like I mean not that the jumping. Uh, not that the jumping mechanic in this game is bad. Um, I just feel like uh, um, I feel like it, it, it's a bit off at times. Not the worst, mind you. I, I've played much worse. Uh, oh, I have to actually hit his actual form. Oops. Oh no! I guess I just have to touch him. Okay. Huh. Usually you have to like jump on him or something, but I guess it let me ram into him. Ramming speed. Maybe this guy's supposed to represent our own darkness as a character? I don't know. I feel like this game's trying to have all this symbolism, but I'm just like, mm, all right. Oh, we got final boss form. Not th this isn't even my final form. But I wonder if this is one of those games where you can get your outfits back during the final boss, or if you have to just do it with your own outfits and just hope for the best. Which means I might have to, like if I lose Balin's outfit, I'll have to... Maybe I shouldn't have chosen Balin for this now that I think about it because I wasn't sure what we were going to have to actually do for the final boss. So. Oh, yeah, this is why you want a jumping jumping character because uh, 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 projectile users can't jump. It's because the game has such simplistic controls. It's you press any button will do that task, and that's it. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, oh, did I? Oh, I guess. Well, how do you avoid that? Oh, was I supposed to get hit? Oh, I was supposed to get hit. Never mind that. I, for a second, I was like, man, how do you avoid that? And I was like, I mean, I could have started transforming, but I felt like that seemed like it was required to happen. You no, know, time to give up, I guess. Time to go home. Oh, you're a tough yeah. guy, aren't you? Or, well, you can actually play a girl in this game, too. You can either be a guy or a girl. It's pretty much the same story, no matter which one. Oh, it's all our friends that we didn't really know. We, I mean, they don't really know us. We know them from their from what we saw in the visions. But I will give the game credit. At least they give you kind of a, 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 a kind of a, a um, what's the word? All the people that you help are clearly different looking. They're all from different walks of life, so it's not like the same type of people. It's like, oh, one's big, one's tall, one's short, you know, and all that. But although they're all anime looking still, so. Uh, that's the guy who wanted to fly. That's a girl like bugs. Uh, I forgot her. Uh, she, what did she want to do? I guess she wanted to, no, she didn't want to fly. What am I thinking? I think she liked art. No, she wasn't an artist. Oh, and I guess we're supposed to beat them with these outfits. So, it doesn't matter what you chose, folks. You have to beat it with these outfits. At least the, at least the air flyer, or whatever this one's called, is a useful outfit because it can float. In the air. Although, technically, I guess I could just keep swapping outfits to avoid the damage, but... Oh well. I guess maybe I'm supposed to see. Yeah, this is the butterfly thing that lets you only. Oh. Oh. Actually, these are all flying outfits. Oh, and, and the bat one is the one where I wonder if I can actually. Because you're supposed to be able to hit the. Um, with the bat form, you can. Uh, that guy, chest, uh, cleanup guy, a firefighter. Are we just supposed to avoid stuff? Or are we actually supposed to hit those, like, eye things? Um, this one, yeah, this one shoots, like. Uh, let's see if we can. Shoot the eyes. The eyes have it. Okay, we were we were supposed to be doing this. That's what I thought, but I was like, but the previous one we didn't have any good projectile users. We had the bat, which could have charged into it. That's probably what I was supposed to do. Um, oh, I forgot. Uh, she's an artist. Uh, she is a skater. Um, yeah, I don't remember all these so. 
Oh no, the the that one lady with blue, she was a she had a dolphin. She was a swimmer and she had a dolphin friend who. Uh, oh, I bet I'm supposed to um, jump get to the boxes somehow with the ice worm. Oh, uh, crap. That's the farmer. And the one before that was a con conservationist who liked birds. Uh, and there's the blue blue wonder boy. Uh, and this is supposed to this bird form is supposed to get rid of tornadoes and stuff. So this crew is supposed to reflect back at him. Yeah, that's the only thing that the thing does. It reflects back tornadoes. That's all it does. Which I guess is useful for the final boss. So, eh, the final boss music isn't bad. Um, it's your kind of your standard chorus, but that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Up and now we're. Oh, we don't even get the original outfits back. Oops. Oh well. So yeah, see, it didn't even give me the outfit for the. Uh... Oh, I was about to say, did I lose the? Uh... Oh, it's not let me. Uh... Oh well, I lost that. Okay. Um, you're supposed to, the bat is supposed to unlock, uh, supposed to lock on to, um, actually, what, I wonder what happens if you lose all your outfits in this section. The bat is supposed to lock on to, like, balloons and stuff like that and attack it, so. Oh, well. I guess swap out my outfits. Thank you. Yeah, I assume I'm supposed to use this to jump up to those, get to those ice blocks and then hit with the projectile. Oh, I can't even get to the... Okay. Uh, oh! Oh, I guess I was supposed to get inside those water blocks or something like that. Because the, 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 um, the dolphin thing, it's supposed to go through water. I can't finish this one, though. I have to jump I have to jump on the um, eyes, right, to hit this one, and I don't have that bat form anymore, so I can't finish this one, right? I mean, I could try getting to it. Oh, okay. Huh. It was just that simple. Just run into things. <laughs> okay, never mind. I guess I can finish it with all the outfits. My bad. Like I said, I don't mind the look at the last boss either. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. Like I said, there's there's good things in this game. It's just... Oh, now that... Oh, yeah, this is the form that destroyed us previously, so... Oh, well... Wait. Well, how am I... Okay, whatever. Can I even die in this one? Oh, I can. Oh, uh, okay. Do we have to do the final area all over again now? Great. I might have to. <laughs> I was just seeing what happened if we actually lost in our original form or if we were kind of invincible. Well, there you go then. Yeah, too bad the low times in this are kind of heinous at, at times. Especially when I go. Are we going to get kicked off back to the island of Tim's? Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's not even that hard of a fight, but I. I did so poorly, it kicked me out. Oh, man. Maybe it'll take us back to the actual boss this time or not. Probably not. Oh, no. This is... Oh, this is annoying. Uh, well, that's, I mean, if you lose at a boss, obviously you should have to redo the boss, but still, you know. Who did I choose last time? Oh. Sure. Um, and then... Oh, we got... Oh, I lost him? Even though they... But they took out that uh, outfit. Oh, that's not fair. Because I didn't... Oh, no, wait. It was part of that one group. No, wait. I didn't get that one, did I? So, it basically killed an outfit for me, even though I didn't actually get rid of it. I, the game got rid of it for me. <sighs> Whatever. I might just cut to when I get back to the that final boss again. We'll see. Well, actually, we'll find out where, where it puts me at. Pro I'll, I'll probably have to do the whole boss fight. Which, like I said, I'm, I've played games where you have to do that before, so that's not that big of a deal. Um, it's annoying, but, you know. Yeah, we'll see where it places me, and if not, we'll just get back to that one area. Oh, can I skip this? Okay, good. Okay, so we do have to redo the whole, all the boss fights, so. So that kind of ruins the moment there. So I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna come back to when I uh, when we get back to that final uh, boss form or whatever. So I'll see you all in a second. <laughs> I 
Okay, we're at the final area again, so we're fighting the big old, big old eye this time. So I just have to be careful not to hit the uh, laser this time. So how about we not be uh, stupid about this this time? So yeah, I was just ah. It's not like that, and I can do the, like, like outfit transform. You know, I tell you about that trick, and then I don't actively utilize it. Isn't that kind of funny? Uh, yeah. Oh, you just have to wait till he blows out his eye. Ooh. Cool, I guess. You have to jump on it now. Oh, okay, can I please jump? <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Just, that would have sucked if we couldn't have gotten to it and then had to redo it all over again. Alright, let's watch the game end, I guess. Yeah, hey, we beat your big glowing orb thingies. Your obvious weakness. Is that how you beat the darkness or sadness in your real life? You just had to jump on big glowing orbs? Who knew? What the? He became he became Bashonin. So he had his own darkness, huh? What the? He's being hit by the darkness. No, you need the Kingdom Hearts! Oh, well, you were the bad guy, so it sucks to be you, I guess. I, maybe if you get... I assume if you get all the Balin outfits, you maybe you save them or something like that. I don't know. Game? Are we just gonna load time the whole time? I was actually waiting in anticipation for the for the finale. I'm like, oh, all right, here we go. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hmm. Game. There we go. Thank you. I guess the stage show's over. But now everyone's together. Now where we got one last stage show, yep. One last dance. Just give me the Charleston or maybe uh, Irish dance or something like that. Uh, what was it, River Dance or whatever? River Dance. I guess that outfits there right behind them are the ones that best represent them, I guess? Well, I guess that makes sense, because yeah, the firefighter would be a fire hydrant, I, I guess, and that one guy would be dark, the Invisible Man. And the snow skater or whatever she was. I think her big thing was uh, her. I think it was either her sister or her parents died, and then she got depressed. And the guy who wanted to marry her was like, she was so depressed or ignoring him that he was about to walk away out of her life. And she's like, no, I must marry him because he's he actually cares about me. And the one's like a dolphin. Uh, one of the girls is like, a dolphin attacked me. Now I'm depressed because I love dolphins, even though dolphins are very aggressive mammals. But you know, what do I know? I feel like there is a message here, but I feel like it's so toned down that it like kind of defeats the purpose of the message. Like, like some serious moments, like dealing with the loss of loved ones, or being felt feeling betrayed, or feeling ostracized, or whatever. And I swear I've seen a uh, like. Oh, that's all that. I guess that's a lot of outfits. Uh, there's probably a few of them I didn't actually get. Um, I feel like there's been children cartoons and movies that did a much better job at it. Than not that this, I don't think this game is trying to send a message. Or, well, not trying to shove it down your throat like a phone phone bill or anything like that, but. I guess I should be quiet during this, but I kind of don't care. I mean, it's. I mean, it's okay. I assume they use mocap for, like, all the dancers here. You can kind of see it, like. Because usually there's a difference between, like, anime a dance and then character uh, people doing it. Um, although most of not, I think it's because mocap still isn't intrinsic enough to have like crazy dance movements. Because usually you can tell that there's a slight bit of um, uh, like stiffness to some of the mocap. But anyway, I assume this is the regular ending for everyone. I'm Steve, Emmett Kiss Abugu.
Oh, and there's the female version of the avatar. Even though we didn't... Oh, because there's, there's a two-player aspect in this game that I never really cared to mess with. Yeah, yeah, she's never in the ending, except through this ending, but during the other story, she's not there. His heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> I. Why are the kids themselves making him cry out of all the things, you know? Wait, that was a. Uh, I thought. Yeah, you know, I was thinking Balin and that one guy had pretty, were pretty. He's also not creative anymore. Now he looks like just every other male anime protagonist. Way to go, game. He, now he no longer has a unique feel to him. At least with the braids and everything like that, he was different and, and silly looking, you know. Like I said, cat in the hat-ish. I cried real tears. I don't know what to think about this. And now we're back in the real world, even though when I first started the game, the girl wasn't even didn't even have her own intro because I chose to play as a boy. <laughs> now she's a part of everything for some reason. I bet it'd be the same other way around. The boy would just all of a sudden be there, even though we never played as the boy character. And are we done? Are you guys gonna stop being emo and hang out with people from now on? And the kids are like, why did you just suddenly jump like that? That's weird. They're like, um, this guy's a freak. Let's go away. I think that would have been funny if that actually happened to show that, like, you know, it, some people just don't want to be friends with you, you know? Even though the, the people at the beginning. Of, they try to be. What? Is that all it takes to be friends? Is to start dance, break dancing in the middle of the street? Huh? Well, I've been doing it around these whole, all these years. It's not about having the same, you know. Oh no, I guess I. I would just try to be cheeky. <laughs> you know, this almost reminds me more of a Bollywood movie than anything. Like just all the like random dancing and all this other stuff, you know, which happens oh, or a musical, a Bollywood musical or something like that. I guess that's it. Um, thanks, Yuji Naka, I guess? Um, okay. I don't know. Um, okay, yep, that's the end of the game, folks. Uh, it was a stage show. I guess the whole point was for the kids to be more, more, um, friendly to people. Uh, I don't know. Leo Craig? Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's one. Of, that was the boy's voice. Uh, Emma Cole was the female uh, main character. Uh, Balin. Kenichi Shuzumura? Shuzumura? Ah, there are some who call me Tim. Um, I mean, I'll give the game credit. Like, all the different characters you can help or save are all from different groups and nationalities. So, they try to, like, spread out, like, you know, all the people that you can influence the world. You know, not just... Not just like in some Japanese games where it's just in Japan or in like a lot of American games where it's just in America, you know. At least they try to be, try to have different type of people. Yeah, the guy there is like a, I think he's supposed to be from India, like an India, Indian chess player, I guess. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter where he's from, but, you know. Uh, lady, I think supposed to be like a French painter, I think. I could be wrong though. Um... Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll give the game credit. I mean, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the big lanky hands, but overall the design of the characters at least are different and varied. Same with the bosses. All the bosses are different and varied and look neat, you know. Um, and like I said, the gameplay isn't incompetent. Like, the platforming got... There is some gameplay... Oh, yeah, that's the guy who wanted to fly, and his whole thing was he got frustrated because he couldn't buy... He couldn't make a flying machine because they kept breaking down or whatever. Um... Like I said, uh, the, the platform is okay. Like, you could jump and everything like that. But I felt like there was too many times where the the movement was a bit 
like slick, if that makes sense. And there's the farmer, who basically lost his farm during a during a hurt or during a tornado or something like that. And he was depressed that he lost his whole crop. And then at the end, he finds one thing of corn, and that makes him happy, even though he's not going to make back all uh, and make back any money from just a, a small thing of corn. That lady, that girl, really likes bugs, and people ostracize her because he like she liked bugs. Really. Then again, kids are cruel. It was other kids, so kids could be unnecessarily cruel without them realizing that they're being cruel to each other. Uh, yeah, some of the movement when you... Uh, there's a lady who, like, the dolphin attacked her, and she got depressed because the dolphin... Because a wild animal attacked her. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, some of the stories are kind of like... Uh, I don't know, like, not as, uh, not as in-depth as they should be, or they're kind of, like, vapid. When you think about it, you're like... Um, I guess you can be depressed by that, but that is not, like, that's a first world problem there, you know. Um, I know there's some of the vocals for some of the singers. Hmm. I was trying to see if I recognize anyone. No, really none of the voice acting or anything like that really popped out at me, so I guess not. Um, I'm trying to think. And yeah, there were way too many outfits. Even at the end of the game when we fight the final boss, we don't even use a lot of the outfits. We only use, like, was it... Uh, three, six, nine, twelve. We only use twelve. Oh, I guess the girl had a daughter. Uh, that lady, yeah, she's the girl like birds. Uh, bird sanctuaries were destroyed when people were building buildings, and she got depressed about that. And then she said, hey, let's just put trees inside of buildings, and that'll save the environment. I'm like, no, that's not how that works. Um, like, it doesn't work visually or thematically or from nature standpoint. I know it's not like that. It's actually more about you can build buildings, but you still need to plant trees, and it needs to be based. It needs to be. Oh yeah, one guy, that guy there with the blonde hair, he's a clown, and then like the girl at the circus. Um, let's see, the fireman. He was um, he wanted to be a hero, but then when it came to shove, like a big old fire pier, and he couldn't jump in the fire to save a kid. And then when he he gets his thing back, he jumps in the fire to save the kid. Well, obviously that's a that's a heroic thing, but. Uh, I keep forgetting what that one girl with the green hair, what her thing was, what her story was. Uh, I mean, the stories are simplistic enough to remember most of them, but yeah, in Real Engine, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Uh, the music was not bad. I mean, there were kind of a, a couple of songs that kind of repeated them, themselves for the most part. Um, nice, some overall theme, so. And the final boss theme was fine. You know, like. Um, but none of the songs really jumped out at me that I'll remember, unfortunately. Even the final, like, songs or the singing parts where they dance around after they beat a boss, nothing that really popped to me. But that's more of a personal thing. Music is sub music liking is some, can be subjective. Um, I mean, there's really not much to the characters. They're pretty much shallow characters that... Or that... Well, not shallow. The word is, is that there's not much to them. They're just the kids who aren't friendly or something like that and then they become op more open by helping all these people in the show they're like oh we can become friends let's make friends and Balin is a knockoff wannabe Dr. Seuss character uh, every second was adventure okay well not a very fun adventure <laughs> uh, like I said there's a lot there's good things in this game it's just I don't know I feel like they're it's too jumbled and and uh, oh no a secret third act I don't want to play a secret third act oh no no, there's there's no more to this game, no more. Oh yeah, you can actually watch um the you can watch all the uh, animated features. Um, da, 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 da. and there's the epilogue. Oh, and I guess I don't have um the girls any because I didn't play as a uh, her. I guess um and yeah, the epilogue is what happens after. Oh, uh, let's see. Can we see Emily Cole's? Oh, I guess she... I assume all hers is the same. It's just there's the... Her thing at the beginning. Uh, and, um... At the beginning of the game. Uh... Yeah, let's see what her... Since I didn't show that off in the... Let's... Uh, the beginning, or... First impressions. Let's see what her story is about. Maybe it's her getting a new dad or... Oh, she's a rich girl. Rich man, very, very rich man. Everyone bow down. Is it because all the maids gossip about her or don't like her or something? Well, usually with... I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess the biggest thing is they just talk about her behind her back. 
What else do you want maids to do all day? It's like, well, they, they either clean the house or they talk to each other. Yeah. Okay, I guess she just didn't like being ostracized from, from the maids. Or maybe they were afraid to talk to her because she was the, the master's daughter or whatever. Or mistress's daughter. I don't know, whoever. Um, oh, that's the name of some of the characters, like Bruce Stone and East Glover? Huh. They never say their name, so... In the final showdown, it didn't even show like what his actual name is. Huh. Lucy Wong? What? That's her name? Yeah, I guess we don't know, know it unless we check the animations. Huh. Well, let's see what her ending is. I assume all the maids are like, oh, we're sorry. We we talked bad about you, little girl. You know? Even though we probably weren't talking bad about you, we're probably just, you know, more afraid to, like, get in trouble with the master if we, uh, you know, talk to the, the mistress of the house. up with those glasses oh it's that thing they were being secretive because it was a birthday and the main character was like everyone forgot about me even though they were actually preparing a birthday party and i get i got su too super overly emotional and so it almost killed me because i was too overly emotional i should have maybe waited a day you know shouldn't have made that tweet <laughs> sorry i just uh, i know people i mean kids can be emotional and i assume this kid's supposed to be like you know 10 or 12 or something like that so you know actually even a, m m many adults can become super emotional so i don't know yeah people can be irrational it just seems kind of silly all right um yeah okay wait what if you choose well i guess it doesn't really matter they said a secret third act is that the i have to unlock all the statues that's probably what that is well we'll check that out but i'm probably not gonna i'm probably gonna call it here because i'm really not invested in doing anything more of this game They'll probably be like, hey, you need to unlock the rest of the Balin statues to do this or something like that. Well, let's find out. Oh, no. Third level. No. Let me walk into one just to see what it actually what it actually is. I just want to see. Just on screen. Um, okay, uh, let me just, let me just do, like, let me just use, like, um, there, that's fine, whatever. Like I said, I don't really care what happens, so, in this case, is it just unique bosses, or find the, a harder version of the boss or something? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely, oh, by the way, I'm definitely not keeping this game. So is it just a, an alternate version of the world? Hmm. I guess so. Although I wonder if I have to unlock the Balin statue again now that because I um, because when I used it in combat it was knocked out of my inventory. Let's find out. I may have to regrind. Yep, I have to regrind for the Balin statue because of freaking game, because it forced me to die, which lost me the outfit. Ugh. Well, anyway. Um, okay, that's it for this game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I guess. I didn't enjoy it, but I, I hope you got something out of it. If it made you want to buy the game yourself, I hope you enjoyed this. I really did. For people who actually enjoy this, I'm glad you enjoy this. I really do. I'm not one of those guys that's just like, you like this game? What's wrong? You suck. No, I, I think this level is, I assume, a harder version of the previous levels. Um, other than unlocking like, the secret ending. But I hope you enjoy it, really, because, like, I don't want to crap on things. I don't want to be like, oh, this game sucks. I'm going to hate on it forever. I usually, if, it, if it's a game I hold, I'll just forget about it and never play it again. That's pretty much how I am. Um, I never linger on stuff like that because it, it's, it can hurt you mentally if you do. So, um, yeah, I hope you, if you liked this game, I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad there was something about it that you enjoyed, whether it be the look, the gameplay, or something like that. Um, and for those who were thinking about buying this but saw it and then saved yourself some money, I'm glad it saved you some money and maybe buy something else that you like instead. So anyway, yeah, let's let's leave it here and leave this kid to his cosplaying uh, fantasy reality. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll, nah, ruined it. And I'll see you next game.